and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No Tales Minecraft Adventures here inside of the truly bedrock survival realm and creepers have been going bang. We are in Minecraft 1.10 and because of that we are having some serious issues with creepers. I have just exploded one in here and there's no way we could have even had one in here because it was fully lit and uh, I got a message last night from Rogue Fox who had completed the bank challenge but not before bb had beat him to it he was in here and this room is lit from the floor it's lit from the ceiling above the slabs and it's lit around the sides and a creeper spawned in here and exploded and blew a load of it up which is no good so we're having some creeper issues and another one literally just spawned in here and blew loads of stuff up including the hopper line and the ceiling and everything like that so i'm having to fix that and there we go that is everything fully fixed and the issue is nothing to do with the lighting in here is the fact that since the 1.10 update which we are now in yeah creepers have decided they're going to spawn in all light levels which is not good so yeah be careful if you're in your survivor world and you've got expensive things just keep your eyes out for creepers at all times because they no longer just spawn in the dark they spawn in full light levels, which is not good. That is a very, very, very bad bug to be added to the game. So not only have we got this horrendous inventory lag, which you might notice I keep seeing every time I open my inventory, we've also got the creepers spawning in any light level as well, which is not good. Oh, and I've also added these lanterns on here, which just appeared inside here. I don't know who put them in there, but oh look, that chest broken as well. Oh, and the challenge is over. The challenge is over, so before we go home, there's a few things we need to do for the challenge, uh, as well as in fix that chest. Oh man, have we sold any shulker boxes yet? No, we haven't. Yeah, we need to go the, uh, the cheaty way back into the vault and go through the system and just make it so that nobody can actually come through and break into the vault now. We need the vault to be as secure as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break through there and we're gonna just basically secure it all up. The, the challenge is over. Nobody should be coming through here anymore. We can block it all up. We can make sure that nobody can get through. And the way that I've done that is to make all of the puzzles even harder. I've made them much, much more secure. I've changed how each one works, but unfortunately, wow lag, I can't, uh, I can't show you in the video because if I show you, the other people can watch it and then they'll know how to get in. And we got this book. This is from DB. He was the winner. He got the diamond block and it says, I'll do it in DB's voice. Well done, Intrepid Explorer. To make it this far is an astounding feat. Your reward is that the knowledge that your vault cracking and puzzle solving skills are second only to one man. A brave man, a handsome man, a puzzle solving genius, but above all else, a modest man, a man that is the bur a turf -thruf. So there we go, the bur a turf -thruf is the winner! Hurrah! Well done DB, you got yourself a diamond block. Now, I am really, really struggling with his inventory vlog. I have to say it is incredibly off-putting just to have like a couple of shulker boxes in your inventory. It's really, really annoying. So I'm going to give up playing Minecraft forever. See you later. No, I'm kidding. I don't know what, what we can do about it, really. It's, it, it is ridiculously frustrating, but there's literally nothing we can do. Hopefully the developers will fix it. I'm going to put a link down in the description of the video to a bug report that will... Uh, yeah, if you go and upvote it, they might actually do a hot fix on it rather than just waiting for the next 15 updates to come out before they bother to fix it. Because it really is. It's another one of these game-changing, game-breaking bugs that just makes you not want to play. Do you remember that bug we had not so long ago where you couldn't break, up, break or place blocks properly because it was just so laggy, it was horrible. You could, there was no point in having a beacon or anything. Well, this is kind of like that. The fact that you have to wait every time you open your inventory to get inside it and you stutter moving stuffs around. It's just frustrating, just makes you not want to use the game or use your inventory or do anything. And I don't think that's just me being silly and moaning. I think a lot of people will feel the same. If you put a lot of hours into Minecraft, like a lot of us do, then uh, it's an issue. It becomes an issue very quickly. The other thing we could do to uh, finish this off is we could put the daylight sensor and bed thing back in now because they have fixed the beds in 1.10. But to be honest with you, I think the rest of it's so secure, I'm not going to bother. The rest of the vault is now really, really secure. I can't imagine anyone's going to be able to make their way in. So in this season so far, I've had a bit of a history of taking over Slack stuff. First of all, I took over his spare room and turned it into my bedroom. Then I took over his wood shop and turned it into Foxy's Bits. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of which, I believe we might have been paid. So let's fly over there. And I know I'm using my Elytra. I know I said I wasn't going to, but 
It's one of those things, as soon as you start doing it, you can't stop. It's just so much more convenient having a litre than it is sailing around everywhere. Let's just see if we've made any money. I'm pretty sure... Yay, 14 diamonds for a stack of yellow dye. <laughs> you lose, Daphne, you daft dead. I can't believe that someone actually paid that price for it. I really ought to open this shop up properly and sell things at a reasonable price. But while people are paying 14 diamonds for a stack of yellow dye, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Right, anyway. Yeah, as I was saying, I've had a habit of taking over Slack shops. And uh, he's got this iron one here. And I've noticed the last couple of times I came in here, he was running a little bit low on iron. Can you see he's running low on iron? And he's got a lot of diamonds now. So what I'm thinking we ought to do to help slack out, because I'm a helpful sort of fellow, is to basically change this round, make this a diamond shop rather than an iron shop. And what we'll do is we'll get hold of Slack's diamonds, we'll fill the chest up with diamonds, and we'll charge people st two stacks of iron per one diamond. So we'll make, we'll make Slack, we'll get him all of his iron back really, really quickly, I think, because I think people will be really happy to find out there's a diamond shop on the server and it only costs a bit of iron. Because everyone's got loads of iron now, but not many people's got diamonds. And Slack's got loads of diamonds, but he hasn't got much iron. So, yeah, I think that's a really, really nice thing we can do to help our friend out. Look, he's got one diamond there. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to go and try and find Slack's diamonds, and I'll be back in a minute once, uh, once we've got it sorted out. Okay, in Slack and Prowl's underground area here, I can see there is Book Profit. There is 36 diamonds there, and then this Forgotten Diamond. I'll leave that there. I don't know what that is, but there's 36. Let's see if we can find some more. Right, I found their secret location where they're hiding this villager. And, uh, oh, look, look, more diamonds here. I found more of Slack's diamonds there. Oh, Slack, you're going to be so happy with me making you so many, so much iron. You're going to not know what to do with it all. So let's, uh, yeah, before, before I show this on camera, let's put that door back there. Ah, Slack's wood shop. I bet he's got some diamonds here. He must have sold some wood. He'll have lots of diamonds here that we can sell for him. No? No sales on wood? Oh, Slack, you're not doing very well at the wood shop. Maybe I'll have to help you out with this shop as well at some point. See if I can help you generate a little bit more profit there so that you've got some diamonds to sell. All right, what about his creeper shop? He must have some profits in here, surely. Oh, yes, he's got a diamond there. Diamond there. And that's it for that. Now, let's check the rent chest in here. But no, no, no one's paid him any rent recently, so there's no rent there. Well, there's none in his little house here. Let's go through to the uh, his little tunnel to the room of the undead or whatever it's called. The, ho the home of the unfortunate. And let's see if he's got any diamonds stashed in here. No, it doesn't look like it. No. Okay, so how many have we got then? Whoa, lag. We've got just over a stack of diamonds. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can sell a lot of those for him, I reckon. Right, what I might do to help him out for now just to get him some extra profits because I'm a really good friend of his. I might go mining, see if I can get a few diamonds together and help stock his shop for him. Before I do that though, I ought to come and check out his uh, mob farm and area like this because he might have some diamonds kicking about around in this area. Oh my goodness me, slack, slack, your furnace array. Have you not heard of a piston feed tape? There's so much more. <laughs> Look at all the hoppers he's got. What a ridiculous number of hoppers. You only need one hopper and you could have the same amount of furnaces. You crazy, crazy man. Watch my tutorial. It's very simple. Oh, look. BB's cactus farm. S slightly more improved than mine, I would say. Only slightly. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit better than mine. <laughs> ha! <laughs> more furnaces. There's furnaces everywhere around here. Look at all these hoppers. What a waste! Wow, and look at all these chests. They're not very full. Not very full chests. There's no wonder there's so much lag when the guys are over here. There's every farm in the world behind here. Chests and hoppers and all sorts. Right, time to go home and, uh, and do some mining. And here we are, safely home at my lovely little house. Right, let's see what we've got going on here. Have I got anything that I can stock him up with there no let's go down to our mine then let's go do mining for a little while maybe an hour or two's worth of mining and then we'll go and uh, yeah convert slack shop for him my cactus farm yes 17 i'm in the race with db and i think i'm winning look at my amazing furnace array it's so much more powerful than slacks 
Okay, I've done a lot of digging. I've dug out a lot more chunks here, but this is actually hardly any of what I've just done, actually. This is a tiny weeny bit, and I've got the chunk borders on just so I can uh, see where I'm digging. I'm also getting a lot of slimes down here, and I'm throwing away a lot of stone. I'm sick of collecting stone now. I've got chest upon chest upon chest of stone. I don't want it anymore, so I'm only concentrating on things like gravel, which is useful for concrete, and obviously all the good stuff, which are... I like diamonds and things, and I've got a bunch in my hand here, but if we go and look at my chest over in this area, you'll see exactly how much stuff we've managed to get. So bear in mind, I've been ignoring all the stone and stuff. We've got 59 diamond ore, loads of other stuff, loads of iron, loads of gold, loads of coal, loads of redstone. Got some more redstone this time. It's the diamonds we're interested in, but, 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 there's a spider down here that's driving me crazy because I can hear him making horrible spider noises. Oh, there's slimes everywhere. Where are all these slimes coming from? Why have we got slimes all of a sudden? We didn't have all these slimes before. Why are slimes all of a sudden spawning everywhere? That's weird. Have, have slime chunks changed again or is it just, are they more regularly spawning now? This is ridiculous. This is my first day, by the way, playing on the realm since it's updated to 1.10. So I'm noticing a few subtle differences. But well, yeah, I think speed mining, speed branch mining is probably my new favorite type of mining and that's how you manage to get so many diamonds. Digging out big chunks like this is okay, but it's not going to give you many diamonds because you only get maybe a one bunch of diamonds per chunk. But if you do speed mining, basically with your haste too, just get yourself set up and just go, 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 go until you hit lava like that. If you hit lava, then just chuck some stones down in front of it or make sure you've got a fire protection potion on you. And just go. If you, Sometimes, obviously, you don't hit any lava and you can go for ages, but you just go until your haste 2 runs out completely, basically. We're at, right at the bottom, so we're not going to really fall in lava. It's more going to be above our heads, if anywhere. But you basically just keep going and 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 going until your haste 2 runs out and you start mining properly. And then you uh, basically check to see if there's any diamonds you've gone past. And normally, doing it this way, there we go, it's run out now. Yeah, you normally end up with quite a few resources doing things like that because you can go a long way. Look, we've got a patch of gold here that we've come past and obviously you can do the poke holes as well. You can go from left to right. Yeah, you can get a lot of stuff mining, mining this way, but it does cost you a lot of torches. There are literally slimes everywhere. Look at this. There's a big one down there. There's one over there. There's one down there. There's one in the corridor. Oh, I missed. There's one in the corridor over there. They're everywhere. Why are there so many slimes all of a sudden? How did that skeleton get in here? Everything's lit. There's some strange things going on with Minecraft 1.10. Very, very strange things are going on indeed. I mean, this is good for slime, and I know everyone will be going in the comments, I'll make a slime farm. It's pointless. No point in having a slime farm. We're actually not far off the end of the season now, to be honest. Things are going to be winding down. And also, uh, Silent Whisper's got one, so I could just go and steal his slime. If I need any slime, or I guess buy it off him. I, that would be the nicer thing to do. But yeah, I've come down here to break my diamonds up, to see how many diamonds we've got, and I'm getting, I'm getting beaten up by horrible slimes. Another one! Another big one there! Another one here behind me! They're everywhere! They're everywhere! And I got out of that two stacks of diamonds exactly! That's pretty good, isn't it? That is pretty good! Two exact stacks of diamonds! A big fella's just jumped on my head! Where did you come from? Stop it! Go away! Leave me alone! Stop it! I don't want you! You're not welcome here, you, you nasty slimes trying to get me! Look how many there are over there now in that corner! It's Slime City! Maybe I will make a slime farm. Well, the one good thing about this, I suppose, it must mean there's not many mobs spawning elsewhere, so that's always a positive. And there's another one down there again. I'm just going to be permanently fighting slimes. I'm going to have to stop. The thing is, I see them, and then I have to fight them. I don't need to, but I have to, because they're just loose in my base, and I don't like it when mobs are just loose, <laughs> running about your net base willy-nilly all over the place. But I'm getting a lot of slime from this. I don't think I'm ever going to need to go uh, slime shopping again. Look. Another stack and a bit of slime there. There we go. Nearly three stacks of slime just from one little uh, mining mission. That's crazy. Stick it in there. Put it in the ender chest. It's all good. Right, before we go off and do my new idea, I'm going to go and check my fish farm because I've not been up here in a while. And there's a spider! There's a spider! How did you spawn up here? This is slabbed. It's all slabbed. Oh, I suppose these two bits aren't slabbed, are they? But yeah, this is a slab mob proof thing as well so obviously 
The developers have broken the game quite substantially in 1.10. What a surprise. Loads of fish, loads of fish, a few bones, and some ink sacks. Not too bad. Not too bad. That'll do. Okay then, so coming back up towards Slack's base, my new plan, we mentioned his log shop earlier, wasn't doing ever so well, he's not making many diamonds, and we need a lot of diamonds for Slack to sell. So I've obviously gone and mining for 128 diamonds there. Now I'm thinking, this is one diamond per two stack. So let's grab my shulker boxes out. I've got a way of giving Slack some diamonds to sell without just giving them away. I've got a genius plan and it's it's gonna be really good. So one diamond for two stacks. So we've got one, two, three, four diamonds worth of logs in there. That's good, so we'll take all of those logs. Now you've gotta be careful, some of these are one diamond per stack, depending on the type of log it is. All right, three in a stack left over in that one. If we take that there and we take that one that was left over in there, we can stick an extra diamond in there. There we go, we bought all the slacks logs. So that's a good start. So now that we've got all of his logs, he's got no logs to sell. We've now got a load of wood we can sell to earn some diamonds. So let's hop over to our shop. We're gonna make ourselves a loom. And with the loom, we're gonna make some banners. If I've got any wool. I don't know if I've got any wool on me. I've got loads at home, although there is wool in here, so that's okay. So we can make wool, we can make banners. Like so, banners that say wood on them, and we've used the loom for that, which is very good. The only one we couldn't use a loom for is this like weird pattern for the D, which I still had to use in the crafting table. So thankfully we can still use the crafting table for making banners, which is good. So we've got some letter in there, which is awesome. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a load of wood for sale in here as well. So we can probably take some of the stuff away that we don't really need. Let's take this chicken away. Right, there we go. We've now got wood, one diamond per stack, which is basically a little bit more expensive than Slack was selling it for. Some of his was one diamond per stack, but most of it was one diamond for two stacks. And we've completely filled that chest up with all of those. We've got rid of the other stuff. We're keeping the smooth stone. We've got the die still and the wool. I might bring some more wool over here. And we've got this bit as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I've just got to tidy up now because I've made a bit of a mess. So I've got a load more wool in my inventory that I can sell now. Now I was just thinking, since the 1.10 update has come out, we can technically use shears in dispensers to automatically shear sheep now, which means I could potentially set up an automatic wool farm, but I don't know if it's really necessary at this point because I'm not actually selling ever so much wool. So now I'm going to do, instead of one diamond for 16 pieces, I'm going to do one diamond for 32 pieces, which I think is quite reasonable. I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff as it is. It's probably a bit ridiculous, the prices on that, but I'll tell everybody that my, uh, my shop is now stopped for wood, which is good. And now we can get on with helping Slack with his diamond shop. So earlier on, we managed to get just over a stack of diamonds from all of Slack's uh, little hidey holes around the server. And now he has a lot more diamonds. Somebody has been and bought all of his wood, so he now has even more diamonds to be uh, to be adding into his diamond shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect all of these for him because I'm a good friend, and I'm going to take them to his diamond shop and put them up for sale for him for some nice, lovely iron in return. There we go, that's another 47 diamonds he's got there. He's, uh, he's positively rich. There's no wonder he wants to sell all these diamonds and uh, get some iron back for himself because... Like I said before, he's very, very low on iron now that he sold it to everybody. Here we go. Diamonds, two stacks of iron each. And what we're going to do is we're going to get his diamonds and we're going to fill these chests with them. There we go. We've got one, two, and a little bit chest worth of diamonds, which is great. Now what we've got to do is we've got to get all of these iron blocks and swap these out for diamond blocks. That's going to be difficult because I don't have any more slacks diamonds yet, but being a good friend that I am, I'm prepared to use my diamonds to help him out here. And I've got I've got a few. I haven't got loads. I've got a few. I should be able to replace quite a few of these iron blocks for him. So let's just see how many we can get. We can make 13. 13. So maybe we won't replace them all. Maybe we'll just replace some. So let's, let's start around here. There's one. So there we are. We're a little bit short on diamonds now. But that is looking pretty good for Slack. And what I'll do is I'll put his iron all in that little chest by the side there. Because I'm not pinching it. I'm not stealing anything from him. I'm just trying to help him to get some iron. Because he's uh, he, he made all those iron farms. And so he obviously wants iron. 
and he's got loads of diamonds, so uh, yeah, that's a good way of him getting them. Saves him having to go shopping. I am a good friend. Right, now I guess I ought to go and tell everybody in the Discord that the, uh, the diamond shop is open for business. And there we go, just to help with a little bit of passing trade, we've now got signs on the side which say Slack's Diamond Shop, one diamond and just two stacks of iron. So there we go. Right, a good job has been done. What is coming up next? The next part of today's video brings me back to Mr. Onions Island to see my sheep. So when I got my sheep back from Vlosloy, at the end of the video, I said that I put my sheep inside that crate and in there, but I didn't. I lied just in case Vlosloy was coming to find them. What I actually did is if I dig down underneath here, like so, you will find my actual sheep of dreams underneath. That's right, so it wasn't very far away at all. There is my Sheep of Dreams, and there is the fake Sheep of Dreams. And what we need to do now is we need to get these guys out somewhere safe, and I've got just the place. Okay, I have my sheep attached to my boat. Now I'm going to try and do something pretty silly, but it might work, you never know. So jump and fly. There we go. No, I didn't fly. Fly? Can we fly, anybody? Please? No, not going to happen. Right, let's uh, come back to the shore. i still got them on the lead there. Let's try and take off from here. Now, are they coming with me? No. That's a shame. Ooh, I thought I might be able to fly with them. If you're wondering why I'm taking both sheep with me, it's just I feel a little bit attached to the uh, the one that was a fake one for so long. I feel it'll be... Oh, my pickaxe! What did I do that for? <laughs> yeah, I feel it'll be a bit mean just to take one without the other. Where did I just put... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, I haven't... I wasn't thinking that through at all, was I? Oh no, the sheep are now in the ocean, and so is my, my pickaxe somewhere. Where did my pickaxe go? Oh, there's my pickaxe. In the complete opposite direction from where I just took the sheep. Oh, this isn't going well at all. Oopsie, and now there's a drown coming for me. Right, let's scoop up these sheep as quickly as possible with this boat. And hopefully that drown won't get us. Let's get one. There we go. And the other one, please. The one quick before the drown comes. <laughs> Go away, drown. No. Shoo, shoo. Right, scoop up that sheep in that boat. There we go. We got it. Go, get out of here. Let's make sure they're coming behind us. They are. Phew. Phew, that was close. <laughs> now, when you're pulling sheep along in a boat like this, you've got to watch out for those dolphins because the dolphins have a habit of jumping up and banging into the boat and it breaks the lead, which is a bit annoying. You also have to keep your eyes on where you're going so you don't crash into anything. And look at that boat. Look at Zloy's boat's really coming on nicely. He's going to be escaping season one in no time. I don't know if I'm happy about that. I might have to do something about that. Try and uh, try and slow his progress down a little bit, perhaps. And here we are. We have arrived at the destination. We now need to somehow get the sheep out of the boat and onto the land. Now, I do have enough leads for this, so that's probably the smartest way to do that. So let's get rid of my boat. Let's get rid of that boat without hurting the sheep. There we go. Let's grab that lead. Come on. And there's a drowned with a trident down there that we want to avoid because we do not want these sheep turning into mutton. There we go. Come on up here. Up we go. There we go. Nicely does it. And let's go hide nice and safely and securely in the bank. Hmm. No one will ever think of that. Right. We're going to have to get rid of that door because otherwise they can't get through. Come on. Oh, don't get in each other's way. There we go. One and two. Well done. Right, the sheep are down here. I don't want them to take damage as they uh, go down there. So I'm just going to chuck a little bit of water down there for them to go in. Hopefully that won't break things too much and hopefully they won't drown. Come on, other sheep, before that, that one drowns. Well, let's just take that water away and that can go down there nice and gently. Come on. Come on, you can go down there. This is, this is not the proper sheep of dreams, so it doesn't really matter if that one goes splat when it gets to the bottom. Hopefully it won't. Go on down that hole. There you go. Ah, it's fine. Absolutely fine. That's good. Right, let's pack these things away and let's just get them sorted out in there nice and safely. All right then, Sheep of Dreams number one. You can come and stand next to that fence post there. And Sheep of Dreams number two, actual Sheep of Dreams, you can go and stand next to that fence post just there. Where There you go. So we now have two Sheep of Dreams Hiding away securely in the vault, and we haven't had any deposits yet. So far, uh, yeah, bank business isn't doing ever so great. And this inventory lag, it's driving me nuts. It really is driving me absolutely crazy. But we'll get used to it, I suppose. Either that or hopefully they'll fix it soon. We'll see. 
And there we go. There we go. That is pretty much job done. We have successfully hidden our sheep into a very, very secure vault now. And it is a lot more secure than it was because we've changed, obviously, the entire vault system at the beginning of today's episode, which is good. We've helped Slack out with a new diamond shop so that he hasn't got so many diamonds and he can have a little bit of iron finally. And we've also sorted out our wood shop. So all in all, it's been a pretty good day for a Foxy Hotel. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!